He said that this device was going away, and this was the only way that people would buy. But you know, all too many people came up with no sale. Now, I think they were taken in by the Doppler effect. Now, that's not the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is that... Nee, 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 nee. No, this is the Doppler effect. This is the tendency of stupid ideas to seem smarter when they come at you rapidly. Okay? So, you know, I think that happened to a lot of people, right? There were a lot of really dumb ideas, and, and businesses failed for a whole lot of crazy reasons. There wasn't a lot of adult supervision going on. Uh, the people didn't have real business ideas. They didn't know how to implement them. A lot of reasons. But the, but the principal reason they failed, I believe, is they didn't learn how to take this kind of relationship, the personal one-to-one -one kind of business relationship that you have with your members, and turn it into this relationship, a computer-based relationship, which turned out to be a whole lot harder than anybody ever thought. You know, people didn't understand that in this new world you have to take the store and the cash register and the relationship and the product and the brand and very importantly the trust in the brand and you have to put it all together in this one-dimensional piece of HTML. And that, that wasn't easy at all. It turns out to be extraordinarily hard to do and that's one of the reasons why so many companies fail. And yet, if we look at the world today, e-commerce is bigger than ever, bigger than it ever was in the dot-com era. So maybe we take dot-com out of it, just call it 21st century commerce. Because we're talking about, what, $200 billion by 2007, steady growth going forward. Now, this isn't a new phenomenon. In the 1880s, more railroad track laid than any other decade. In the 1890s, more railroads went bankrupt than any other decade. Okay, but in the intervening years, rail transportation was the principal means of transportation in this country until the invention of the long-distance aircraft. So this has happened before, and it's really because technique follows technology. Technique follows technology. We don't always know how to apply it. Alexander Graham Bell thought the telephone would be a tool for the deaf. Edison thought the phonograph would be a dictation machine. You're not really sure how it applies. There's a, a good example, actually, from the Revolutionary War. You know, in, in early warfare, people would line up with swords and charge each other. Right? With the invention of the blunderbuss, they still lined up, and they fired the blunderbuss. It didn't hit anybody, so they continued to line up. And then they got the long rifle. And lining up seemed like a very bad idea. Right? <laughs> and in the Revolutionary War, the Americans hid behind trees, and the British said, oh, that wasn't cricket, you know, you shouldn't do that. Um, and the British didn't even change their uniform, which had this white cross, which looked surprisingly <laughs> like a target. <laughs> right? Oops. <laughs> so it takes a while for the technique to catch up. Now, there's another reason that this line is going to continue to go upward. Um, you know, because we're getting the technique now. Half of all home buyers search first online. A third of all stocks are sold online. 20% of us bank online. 50 million travelers search online. Some 70%, I think, of your customers do financial services online. Very, very popular. So they're getting the technique.